All right, uh, let's look at the homework 14.5, problem number 10. All right, so uh, one side of a triangle is increasing at the rate of 7 centimeters per second. A uh, second side is decreasing at the rate of 4 uh, centimeters per second. The area of the triangle remains constant. At uh, what rate does the angle between th those two sides change? when the first side is 28 centimeters and the second side is 40 centimeters and the angle is pi over 6. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so I drew a, a, a triangle and the first side, uh, uh, the length is A and second side has a length B and the angle is theta. So we're looking for uh, d theta over dt. All right, so uh, we're looking for uh, d theta over dt. All right, so what's given? So uh, first side is increasing at the rate of 7 centimeters per second. So we know that the rate of change of uh, a with respect to time is equal to 7. All right, and uh, let's see, second side is decreasing at, at the rate of 4 centimeters per second. So it's a, a derivative of b uh, with respect to t is equal to uh, negative 4, All right? And then uh, first side is 28, so a at this point is given to be 28, and a b is 40, and at this point the theta is uh, pi over 6, All right? And a, b, and the theta, all functions of uh, time t, right? So uh, let's try to find the area. The area is, uh, let's see, uh, base times height. Height is uh, a times sine of theta. So we know that, uh, let's see, um, a area is equal to uh, a, b, sine of theta, right? And actually, uh, so then you have one half of base times height, so you have to put the one half. So here is here it is. All right, so we have that. All right, then uh, we want to take the derivative uh, with respect to t. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and oh, actually, uh, one more, one thing I want to do is uh, since it's a number, so I'm going to actually multiply by two. So that way you have a two times the fixed uh, area a is equal to uh, a b uh, sine of theta, right? So if you take the derivative of that with respect to t, we get the uh, derivative of the left hand side is going to be zero since it's a constant, right? Then you have to take the partial with respect to a would be b sine of theta. Then uh, you have to multiply by derivative of a with respect to t, All right? Plus, a uh, partial of b would be a sine of theta. Then you have to multiply by db over dt, All right? And plus, um, partial with respect to theta would be a b uh, cosine of theta. Then you have to multiply by d theta over dt. All right, so we got that. All right, then uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to um, uh, find d theta over dt. So this is the guy we're looking for. All right, so why not just uh, solve for that? So if you solve for that, you're going to get this. All right, so I'm going to put this, I'm going to subtract um, a, b, cosine of theta, d theta over dt. So you're going to get the negative a b cosine of theta d theta over dt, which is equal to uh, b sine, oh actually, uh, yeah, uh, let's see, yeah, actually, b sine of theta and uh, d a over dt plus uh, a sine of theta d b over dt, right? Then we just have to uh, divide through by uh, negative a b cosine of theta. 
right? So d theta over dt is going to be, right, I'm going to stop putting numbers. Right, b is 40, right? Sine of theta, theta is pi over 6, so uh, sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. Right, dA over dt is positive 7, and plus A is uh, 28, times sine of pi over 6 is uh, 1 half, and dB over dt is negative 4. Right. Then divide by uh, negative, A is uh, 28, times B is 40, and times Cosine of uh, uh, pi over 6 is uh, square root of 3 over 2. All right? And so that's that. So let's compute this uh, using a calculator or uh, GeoGebra. I'm going to use a GeoGebra and round the answer to three decimal places. So I'm going to open up GeoGebra. All right. So I'm going to type in, uh, let's see. So you have... Right, on top, we have uh, 40 times 1 half. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So that's 20 and 20 times 7. Uh, so I'm just doing that as a 140. So I'm going to just put 140 there. All right, I can do that in my head. And then minus uh, 4 times 1 half is uh, negative 2 and times 28. So it's going to be 50, minus 56, right? And then we're going to have to divide it by a uh, negative. Uh, 28 times 40 times uh, square root of 3 divide by 2. All right? And then uh, hit enter. All right? So I'm going to have to change the uh, rounding, uh, rounding to uh, uh, three decimal places. Let's see. So three decimal places. All right, so looks like it's going to be negative 0 0.087. So it's about a negative 0 0.087. All right, so uh, let's try to uh, see if that's correct. Um, so here, oh, actually, there's an answer there. So negative 0 0.087, and I hit enter. All right, uh, we come back, and it looks like uh, uh, we have the correct answer. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.